everybody, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to share a journal with you guys. I've finally completed one of my fabric journals. Uh, if you saw in a previous video, I've got, I think, ten of these going at the moment. And this is the first one I've had um, time to complete. So I thought I'd just share that with you guys. Um, this journal is... Uh, six by nine journal and it's been covered with the um, Tim Holtz fabric. I managed to uh, purchase some of this a while back and I, this is the first chance I've had to get around to creating it. So yeah, I really struggled with these to be honest because the fabric is just such a beautiful print. I was in two minds on, as to what to do with the cover because it was too plain to be left without anything. And um, in the end, this is what I came up with, it, and I'm really pleased with how it's come out. I um, just ended up taking some, it's almost like a um, canvas type fabric, and then I sandwiched um, the batting and then another layer of the Tim Holtz and then I've put some vintage lace muslin that's been hand stamped and then I came back in and stitched one of the um, I hand sewed the uh, token believe on it so I'm really happy with how that's come out with because it was just it was too plain to be left alone now you know how long it's going to take me to get the others done I don't know because each one is a different design and I've got to do some figuring on what I'm going to do with those others on the covers. Um, yeah, I'm kind of curious what everybody's thoughts are. Um, with this kind of a pattern, it would just be interesting to know what your opinion would. Would you guys rather see the journals just left plain? Um, like this one, for example? Or do you like the added front, or does it matter? Um, I'm just kind of curious what, what everybody's thoughts are on that. Okay, so let's get started. We'll go inside. Uh, it's got an eyelet closure with some seam binding. And inside I've um, covered with Tim Holtz um, cardstock. And then I went back through and made a pocket here. I just created like a... a a tag out of some of the um, Edith Holden paper. I cut that down and then I backed it with uh, tea dyed paper. And this is just an old index card. It's got a really nice um, aged color to that. I just happened to come across those today in my stash. I've got so much stuff buried and it's amazing when you start getting to the bottom what you find. So I thought I'd stick that in there for some extra journaling space. Um, here I've done a um, book page pocket and I've left it so that you can tuck something by behind there. This is an altered big playing card that I've decoupaged, stitched, and then I've lined the back with um, tea dye paper. And then this is, um, this was a set of nature cards uh, I picked up a while, oh gosh, probably a year, maybe a year and a half ago. And I've just run across those, so I thought, well, that goes really well because this is pretty much a nature-themed journal. Um, here I've just... Let me be careful on that. Oh, hang that stitching. Um, everything in here has been tea-dyed. Um, and then I've just cut out some other little journaling cards for you. I'm going to put that clip down there. Um, and then this is just a little um, envelope I created out of an Edith Holden page and I've made a couple more journaling cards I've tucked away in there and that's just held in with the little paper clip. Just some um, scrapbooking paper is quite thick. It's not the thin stuff so it's, it's pretty thick. An Edith Holden page, some grid paper, that flips out for extra writing. And here I've done two pockets and then just added some little, did a little collage in there. And here's a um, Royal Horticulture Society postcard that's been tucked in that pocket there. 
So here is some Tim Holtz wallpaper, um, book pages, these are vintage book page. Um, this is a vintage flower book and I've just been going through and creating some more journaling tags out of those. I love those images, they are beautiful. Um, and then on this side I've done, this was a little um, book on things to see in Great Britain and I've just taken the pages. They're nice pages, uh, really thick paper, so I've just created another little envelope with that, a mini uh, file folder, and then I've just held all this in place with a little Tim Holtz um, mini paper clip. I put a um, adult coloring book page in here. I thought that would be a nice addition if you're out and just want to do some coloring. This is another book page. This is another little um, pocket for you. Some tracing paper. More of the scrapbook paper. Some more of the Edith Holden book page. <clears throat> this is just another book page. This is one of the um, textured tags. You can see it's these were some kind of, uh, I don't know if it was a wallpaper sample. I guess it was, but they've got a really nice feel to them. And then I've got another little journal card there. And this was a page from a, a Rose book. And these are not photocopied. These are original pages I've, I've put in there. And this was from a uh, vintage flower uh, booklet. This is Edith Holden Cookery Page. It's got more space you can do some writing. And here, if you've seen my previous video on... Um, oh gosh, I hope that hasn't got stuck. It has. Um, I did a tutorial on how to create these little embellishments in my previous video. So here is a um, tag. Just got that in that little tuck spot. And then this was a um, How Do You your, Use Your Weeds um, book. It's probably 1960s. And it had some really interesting stuff in there on how to make um, you know, various teas from weeds, um, it, wine, whiskey. It was amazing. So I just put those in. This is the center of the signature. Um, this is some Tim Holtz, and then uh, Doily, and this is the other part of this um, What to Do With Your Weeds book. I really like that. It had some nice images as well, and more of the book pages. Yeah, I think this would make a great um, art journal, because there's a lot of space here you could do, and some of these papers are thick enough, you could definitely um, do some art journaling in this. Um, here I've done one of the Tim Holtz, um, I think these are photo frame die, I'm not sure, I can't remember. And then here, this is an altered um, paper clip I just did a tutorial on if you're interested. And then another little, um, little postcard journal card. Another little pocket here. And then this is the other part of the coloring book more writing space and book pages. I love this wallpaper. I, I really like that. I wish I would have picked up two packages of that, but I didn't. And I'm starting to get low on it now. <laughs> so yeah, you can see there's a lot of space for writing. Um, this, I did a tutorial on this. This is just a little, um, it's a tag, but I've made it into like a little notepad so you can do some writing in here. It's got all, everything in here is vintage or um, tea dyed. Um, so you've got some writing space, you've got some space if you want to do some collaging on the um, ledger paper you could do that. Um, you've got a pocket here. I've left that open so you can add something there. 